Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Volcano AC and recently I upgraded my audio interface from a small box to one that can be racked. Also, I now have analog preamplifiers and EQ that need to be mounted on a rack. Therefore, I ordered the Middle Atlantic 10U Slim 2 Series sloped at Sweetwater. In a previous episode, I shared with you the purchase process of this rack. Link to that video in the description below. This rack has 10U space and can hold up to 100 pounds. It is laminated MDF and I ordered the black wood grain. The height is almost 20 inches tall by 20.38 inches wide and almost 18 inches deep. I will unbox this rack and set it up for you. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. I purchased this rack with my own money. It cost me $344 plus tax and the shipping was free. All right, let's get into it. And first of all, let's go ahead and open our shipping box. Let me cut the tape here on the sides as well. Let's see what's inside. Opening it up and you can see there's a second um, box, but this is the thank you note and advertisement from Sweetwater CEOs with the sticker. Now you can see it has really nice bubble wrap and even the candy here for the kids. That's great. Let me go ahead and get it out. Ooh, it feels a little bit heavy, let me tell you that. So let's check if there's anything else on this box. No, there was anything. So let's get it out of the Middle Atlantic products shipping box and let's see exactly what's inside. Okay, uh, here we have the panels. There's one, two, three, four panels. Let me open it up here with my blade. Uh, trying to take this cardboard, put it on the side. And here we go. Now let's start uh, and remove the plastic as well. Let me do a couple of cuts over here. And there we go. So I'm going to clean up this panel. So this is panel number one, as you can see. And you can see the holes on the sides and um, the different parts. This is panel number two, also has the different holes on the sides so that it all fits together. Let me remove the plastic on the side as well, all the way. Okay, this is another um, part and look at uh, you can see here the rail and this is the final rail but these are the screws as you can see and also uh, there's like a little mini wrench and the instructions of course and this is the final part that also has the rails so the parts with the rails must be the sides but we're gonna check here in the instructions and see if there's any information about that, it should. So this is um, the letter from the manufacturer and the instructions, pretty easy. There's just four parts, one, two, three, four, top down and the sides. So let's go ahead and start building it. This is the bottom part. You can see that this area gets up front and here uh, comes with these uh, little rubbers that go on the underside of the bottom. There's four of them. So let's go ahead and put this self-sticking um, rubbers in all four sides, as you can see over here. Now let's go ahead and turn it around. But first, let me show you what came in the box, which are all the screws and a little wrench. So now for reels, let's go ahead and turn it on the side. As you can see here, this is one side. And I'm gonna put first the first three screws at the bottom, but I'm not gonna tighten them too much, just uh, to the touch, just so that we can do 
adjustments later on make sure everything lines up so uh, this is the first one and let's go ahead and do this very very quickly so one two three as you can see in my right side right now your right side you can see um, that is sloped so that's the front or at least that I'm gonna use as the front and now I'm gonna tight not extremely tight the screws but just to the touch with the wrench that came with the kit okay now that is tight you can see the rails in the inner side one is straight and the one on the left is the slope one so I'm gonna put the other side so that it all lines up nicely, at least from the bottom. Same thing, I start with a screwdriver and then by hand, I got them all three and look, it's looking good. However, I still need to do the top. So let's go ahead and do that. Here is the top, you will see the holes on the side one two and three so let's go ahead and fit it it has holes in both sides so i'm gonna do the same thing as i did at the bottom i'm gonna start putting the screws at the top with the screwdriver and then i'm gonna tie them with the wrench that came with the kit okay so this is the very first one and i'm gonna do the exact same thing for all six of them one side it's getting ready and there it is so now i'm gonna do the other side one two and three all right so now i'm gonna tight them with the wrench like i did with the bottom part there we go and similar um, as I did before, I'll do all six and now it's time to put the caps once everything is already screwed um, really nice and tight. And this is how it looks. Look at that. That is a really nice desktop 10U rack. And now let me show you how it looks in the desktop. Look at that. I have my Apollo X6, audio interface, my Neve 1073 DPX, pre-amplifiers with EQ, and even at the top, I have my Studio 24C audio interface from Presonus, really nice. Let's go back to the studio. All right, let me know in the comments below if you liked how this rack looks like or which desktop rack would you recommend or you're using. All right, that's all for this episode. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.